Hulu? Nah. Netflix? See ya. Right stuff? Yes. Now that's the stuff. And we're not talking about Hostess. What is up, guys? This is Vincent bringing you another right stuff and a major hey, view. Come what? out with your hands up. What? I have been getting reports that you're oh. hype while watching oh. the AD police cause me. too much of a commotion. What do you mean? This is right stuff anime. They are dummy lit. What do you Put mean? down the remote and get out of there. Well, how do you know about that, bro? Really? We are tracking you with high tech equipment. Like the AD police force unit? Yes. Ah! Uh, I got uh, you know. Exposed! Exposed! Hurry up and get out here. Oh, no. We don't got all day. Oh, What's up guys, this is Vinge here with yet another Right Stuff anime review video. But before I get started, I would like to give a huge shout out yet again to Right Stuff Anime for sending this over my way. So without further ado, let us get started with the review of AD Police to protect and serve. Not gonna lie. The cover of this series has to be one of my favorites, because real talk, I'm not going to lie, I was looking through some of the stuff that uh, Right Stuff Anime has to offer, and that was one of the most recent releases that they had, and boy, oh boy, I'm not going to lie, I did not know this series exists. And the only reason why I wanted to review it is just because of the look of the cover. I am not kidding. That's crazy talk, but sometimes visual presentation can just catch your eye and draw you in. And that's what happened to me. I mean, like, this is just one of my fave covers thus far. It's very simplistic, but I just really love the style of it. Like, the random bars of red and black coming together to make an overlay pattern while the white is in the background. I was thinking the red was trying to represent some strange buildings in the future or something like that, but after a second look, it looks like the red bars come together to look like an actual hand, giving you the hands. Not really. And then the black was used as part of the background as well. The black is not only used to make the clean title font stand out that much more, but it also wraps around and spills into the spinal portion of the cover as you see here. And then I also love the action poses of Kenji and Hans. I mean, really cool action poses. I think that's another thing that really caught my eye, those action -y poses there. Now, Kyoko, which is this young lady down here, and then on the back, we have Nancy. They're on the cover as well, and the main reason why they're on the cover is due to their close relationships to the main protagonist, and I don't want to spoil anything, so I'm not going to share extra regarding that. So, I mean, I'm a bit surprised at how the rest of the AD police were not included on the cover. I was really surprised by that because there was a whole group of people that worked alongside uh, Kenji and Hans, but for whatever reason, they were not included in that. Um, but either way, I really do love the cover art. It's just the use of red, black, and white ties in well together. So why don't I go ahead and read what we have on the back here. The spinoff of the anime known as Bubblegum Crisis Tokyo 2040. The Parker Syndicate is wreaking havoc across Genom City using violent robots called Boomers to commit crimes. The only ones who can stop them are the advanced police, an elite squad of high-tech cops, reckless daredevil Kenshi Sasaki, and his new partner Hans Cleef are hot on the trail of the Syndicate's devious leader. 
But if they can't figure out how to put their differences aside, they'll end up killing each other before the boomers even get a chance. Special features, clean opening, clean closing, sketch art gallery, background gallery. Um, with that said, there's also English voice acting as well as Japanese voice acting and subtitles. And why don't we go ahead and take a quick look at what's inside here. Unfortunately, there isn't any background art because usually in some cases, I think there are more specialized series that they usually have that in. They don't necessarily do this for the older ones. Um, they usually have, sometimes right stuff would have like actual art inside the case. That's not here, but I do want you to feast your eyes on this right here. Uh, the light is... <laughs> Shadows! Get out of the way, Shadows! Alright, there we go. Look at that clean CD case. The color, the clean um, prints of the characters. I really love it. You know, it goes hand in hand with the cover art itself. Very clean. The right stuff. So, why don't we go ahead and get into talking about the series itself. Yo! Since you're still watching, I assume you want to learn more about AD Police. Therefore, if you become more interested in the series as you're watching this video, then make sure to use the link in the description section below to check out the right stuff for the right price. <sighs> Sometimes that voice tires me out. Anyway, that's my impression of Randy Savage. But Let's move on. So the AD Police is part of a genre that's known as cyberpunk detective fiction. And like I mentioned earlier in the review, funny thing is, the cover itself looked so nice, it just made me want to look more into this series. Series was all around for quite a while, it's definitely old, had no idea it existed. So I was like, hey, why not, I, why not check this out and see what it's all about? And I really grew to like it because it reminded me of classic animes um, involving partners like uh, Cowboy Bebop. Stuff like that. So why don't we go ahead and talk about the plot here. And the plot involves a corporation known as the Parker... Did I say Parker? <laughs> I mean Packer Syndicate. Who uses extremely dangerous robots known as Boomers to overrun the genome city boomers you know they bring the boom see what i did there the boomers bring the boom 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 all right let me let me stop <laughs> our main character oof dang what's wrong with me our main character is kenji sasaki and he's a member of the ad police force now, the AD police force's responsibility is to eliminate boomer threats. Boom. So, when I think of Kenji's personality, I consider him to be more of a loose cannon due to his reckless and seemingly selfish actions. You know, actions so selfish, you gotta get that belt. You know what I'm saying? Get the belt, not the hands, the belt. And so, but the thing is, Kenshi means well, however, oftentimes his choices usually creates trouble for the AD police unit as a whole. And like I mentioned earlier, he does have co-workers, I don't want to spoil too much about that, but his cohorts or his uh, members of his team always criticizes Kenji for his lack of teammates. Yeah. Uh, did I say teammates? <laughs> Lack of teamwork despite acknowledging his skills. Furthermore, Kenji has a track record of putting his partner's lives at risk because of his explosive nature. Um, after losing his partner, Paul, Hans became Kenji's new partner, and Kenji's a loner. So, typically, when you think anime, and loners, they're usually the type of individuals that are difficult to interact with in the very beginning. And <clears throat> excuse me, and with that said, Hans has to put in that work to gain Kenji's trust. 
After many struggles, Kenji slowly began to warm up the Hans and his charismatic personality during their missions together. But you know, they, they've been exchanging hands, going toe to toe to toe, hitting each other with tiger blows. And when they get hit in the face, they like, oh, all right, I'm done. So the relationship between Kenji and Hans is what I like about this anime. I feel like that's the most important part of it because it's like they have to build that bond before the epicness happens, before they're able to come together to bring down the syndicate, the Packer syndicate. See, I'm making sure I didn't say Parker. I said Parker. I don't know what why I said Parker. It's Packer. Send the Packer syndicate packing. So, I knew nothing of this anime. So, I was wondering what the hook of this anime was and I feel like the hook to this anime is just building a bond through hardships. I felt like that was the overall theme here because it wasn't until they built that bond that things just started coming together not only for Hans and Kenji but the rest of the unit as well because they're seeing a side of Kenji that they're not used to seeing. Not only that you get to experience the relationships between Kenji and Hans is, uh, what's the word, uh, better halves. And see how the interactions with the females that I mentioned, Kyoko and Nancy, um, how those interactions affect Kenji and Hans as well. Not to mention that this series is said to be a tribute to a well-known series known as Bubblegum Crisis Tokyo 2040. Um, watching AD Police really makes me want to check out uh, Bubblegum Crisis. I mean, it's different and it seems really cool. Um, I actually look back at the intro of Bubblegum Crisis and I definitely see the correlation there. Um, cause I actually looked at the intro of Bubblegum Crisis, uh, before I did this review and man, they had some rocking music and the soundtrack for AD Police, I like it. A plus. <laughs> so I would give AG Police a solid 10 pew pew pews out of 10. If you found AD Police interesting, then remember to use the link in the description section below to get AD Police the right stuff. The right stuff. So remember, if you want the right stuff, then go to rightstuffanime.com. Have a good one and be blessed.